everybody, this is Money Mom. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm doing a collab with a dear friend and fellow YouTuber, Jan from New York City Saves Money. Things we shouldn't have to apologize for. She got this great idea from another channel called JB Breaks Free. I will link both those channels below so you can check them out. Let me get right into it. And at the end of this video, I want to tell you about a new series on a channel that I'm actually really excited about. So I'm going to start right now with number one, something we shouldn't have to apologize for. Number one, other people's behavior. I know that I've done it before. Many times I feel responsible for other people's happiness and behavior. We have to be responsible for how we respond and how we react to things. So that's what we should take ownership for. We cannot be responsible for how others behave. So number one, other people's behavior, we shouldn't have to apologize. Number two, not spending money if you can't afford things, whether it's somebody that's trying to sell you something, a gift you can't afford, not spending money. And it's all about frugality. If friends can't understand why you can't go out to dinner or you can't chip in for a gift because you've got financial goals, well, you know what? Then you might need to find some more frugal friends to hang out with, I guess. <laughs> Number three, just simply saying no thank you to anything, whether it's a volunteer job someone asked you to do, whether it's getting together on Friday night to go out to dinner but you want to go home and rest. Just simply saying no thank you to anything, we shouldn't have to go and explain Simply saying, hey, I can't do that right now, but thanks for thinking of me. Simply doing that without explanation is really powerful. Number four, not getting back with people right away. I have a friend of mine that leaves messages and says things like, well, I was hoping you'd get back with me. Well, I would have hoped I would have heard from you by now. We can't always get back with everyone. We may be tired. We may be busy. And some everybody's lives are different, but some folks have busier lives. We may not have time to chit chat on the phone or get back with everybody with a lot of text messages and things like that. And if folks don't understand that, they may need to find a friend that has a lot of time to do that. So we shouldn't have to explain that all the time. That is something that I believe very strongly. Sometimes I unplug the phone just to get a little break and a little rest from it. Okay, number five, your appearance. Hey, we may not always look our best. And so if you're out and about and someone sees you and you, you know don't have your hair and makeup done, don't apologize. You know what? You're still beautiful the way you are. And I'm just going to leave with that. Number six, stuff you can't control. Oh, am I guilty of this one? When snowmageddon happened and we didn't have power, I was trying to run around and try to find, you know, internet and things like that. And I felt terrible. I wouldn't do that again because we put ourselves in harm's way by driving on icy roads to get to internet. And that was not smart. And it wasn't anything I could control. And it was the first time in 12 years that I worked, you know, from scheduling that that happened. And so actually more than 12 years. So if something like that, that we can't control, we shouldn't have to apologize. Sometimes life happens. And, you know, we just have to just say, I'm sorry this happened. When we get our electricity back on, I'll get back to work <laughs> or whatever that situation is. Number seven, needing time by yourself to regenerate, to recoup, whether it is anything you need, just time for you to relax and do the things that you enjoy and unplug. I think that's really important. We just can't be there for everybody to solve everyone's problem all the time. I think you would agree. I want to hear from you guys in the comments below. Let me know if you're guilty of any of these seven. I know that I'm a people pleaser. I don't like if people are upset with me or mad, but I'm having to learn that I just can't be there for everyone and I need to be more honest with myself and honest with others because I feel like I will be respecting myself more and maybe others will respect me more with that honesty. So I want to hear from you in the comments below. What did you used to apologize for that you no longer do and you're taking your life back? That being said, I'm going to end with saying this. The series I'm really excited about is Jan from New York City Saves Money started a series that I think is brilliant called Instant Coffee with Jan. The reason it's brilliant is because, think about this, instant coffee is not, is very frugal because you're making one cup. How many times do people make a whole pot of coffee and they end up throwing half of it away, which is not frugal? So hence, Instant Coffee with Jan is a brilliant idea for a series. I've listened to it twice. You can listen to it while you're getting ready. It's short. It's sweet. It's little money-saving tips and life experiences from Jan. 
I am really enjoying it, and the series is becoming very popular. I'll link one of the videos below in the comments. Let me know, guys, today before signing off, what are some things that you, as of today, are not going to apologize for, and you're not going to defend or explain or rationalize anything. You're just going to do what's best for you. I want to hear from you in the comments below. That's all I have to say for now. Thank you, Jan, for doing this collab. I love and appreciate each and every one of you, and I'll see you on tomorrow morning's video. Bye-bye.